Hey all, Dwarf Lord here. If we go to the classic vanilla Warcraft logs page, there's something very exciting going on. And it's not Black Fathom Deeps. As, as fun as Black Fathom Deeps and Dead Mines and all that stuff is, I actually haven't run BFD yet. I've just, I've been busy trying to get that Meteor Shard so I can mm, kill some Horde. But if we scroll down a little further, a little further, we got something cool going on in Classic Air. His speedrunning is back in a big way. Now, just to be clear, this is not a fuck sod video, although fuck sod. Um, this is a celebration of Classic. And don't get me wrong, I'm having fun on Season of Discovery. I'm enjoying it, but let's not forget about Classic Air. The beginning, where everything came from. And if we go to uh, view more here, we have some amazing speed runs going on for Nax. So we're going to do a brief history of classic era speed running, and we're going to compare this a little bit as well to uh, 2019 classic. Now, who the heck is Five Sunders, please? This guild has been raiding on the classic era for four months in August, since August. This is an amalgamation of none of the above and salad bakers. So basically it has the best people in the world who've come on Classic Era and, and started making some new records. They haven't beat the world record yet, but um, you know the nice thing about Classic Era is it's forever and you can just get the best gear. You can have 20 Gressel THC Warriors. You can have the best gear on everybody and see like what is really possible. And so that's what they're doing. Now, we just finally set an amazing record and we're now number two in the world. Five Sunders Please is, uh, you know, in another league, but we in phase seven, this is our second sub 60 Nax. And we, uh, we did a 5401. It was so beautiful. Things were just moving so smooth. We had so few deaths. It was amazing. I'm going to post the video of that uh, coming up in a little bit. Anyways, I think it would be really interesting to go over a history of speedrunning in Classic Era. Before Five Sunders Please existed, there was just Phase 7 and Forever Classic on the North America servers. And for EU, there was active and fun police. Let's uh, filter out the China servers. Phase seven, we used to always say, we're number one outside of China, because we were number one. Phase seven had the fastest times in Molten Core, Blackwing Lair, um, AQ40, and Nax. We had the fastest times, except for China. China was already doing sub 60s. China is on another level. But China got shut down. So let's filter out China. Sorry, China. China not number one. China not number one. Although they they were for a time. And they were number one on, on Classic 19. If we if we go uh, all regions, Noobs Alliance was a 43-29. But if we filter out China, we have none of the above and salad bakers. And that is who formed Five Sunders Please. That is the amalgamation of basically the best speed runners in the world. Five Sunders Please. They're back on Classic Era. That's exciting. That is exciting. Us lowly folk in Phase 7 Forever Classic Active and Fun Police, we bow down to you. But we have been training and working very hard to... Uh, get sub 60 and and we all have so like i said phase seven used to be number one outside of china but then that changed as we were trying to get close to sub 60 you know we got a hour hour 10 hour 11 hour seven when we were around an uh, hour seven nax fun police <laughs> In early March 2019, they did like a 58-minute axe. I was about to interview them. I was about to interview them. And a couple days later, active. They set their 5503 axe. 
and they were number one. And that record was not touched for about eight months. Eight months until November 7th. November 7th. For one week, Forever Classic, our eternal rivals, they got a 54-11 max. And they were number one on Oliveira. For a week, until Five Sunders, please, said, sit down, Forever Classic. And they did a 49-56 max. Uh, so... I expect some amazing things to be coming from Five Sunders, please. And it was only um, on Tuesday that we finally beat Forever Classic. We were, we were number one ahead of Forever Classic for like a year. And then they, they beat us. And we just, we just couldn't catch up until a lot of re, uh, you know, raid changes, roster changes, raid leader changes, everything changed. And we beat them. And uh, that's pretty awesome. Phase 7, back on top for North America, where we always belonged. And that's just really exciting. It's exci This is an exciting time. We have these five guilds. By the way, Classic Forever is an alliance reroll of Forever Classic. So really, these... Uh, Six guilds, you know, some, doing some amazing stuff here on Classic Era. So while SOD is fun, we have some really, really cool things going on with, uh, with Classic Era. So stay tuned. Watch the streams of uh, all of these awesome raiders. And uh, yeah, there's some exciting stuff going on. And It's just important to remember that air is not dead and we're still cranking out records. And one day we might beat the 2019 records. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a sub and a comment. I read and respond to each and every one. Catch me live on my Twitch channel, Dwarf Lord TV, to connect with me or say hi to me in game on any of my characters. Dwarf Lord out. <laughs>